Hey what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here and today I'm actually going to be showing you a really cool easter egg hidden inside Google Earth. It's actually the flight simulator which you might already have heard of but if not I'm just going to be just showing you how to get to it and how you can actually use it. So when you're on Google Earth like I am right now, all you do is just press the keys Control alt a and it's going to bring up a window where you actually get to select some different things. So for starters you get to select the airplane that you're going to want to be flying. You can select the F-16 which is a fighter jet that's you know slightly harder to control but it can be more fun and then there's also the SR-22 which is a propeller plane that's easier to control but it doesn't go quite as fast. So I'm just going to go with the SR-22 for this video. Now you also get to select where you want to take off from. You can choose the airport or you can just choose your current view so as you as you can see right now I'm over the USA but I'm going to go ahead and just choose uh, San Francisco airport that looks like a good choice and then you can also then you, you're all ready to go. So if you have a joystick you can enable that but I'm just going to be using the keyboard. So the basic controls are of this are very simple and you, you you don't really need that many controls to control I mean there are a lot of controls you can use if you want but for this video I'm just gonna be showing you a couple page up and page down allow you to increase and decrease speed and then the arrow keys are how you control where you're going um, obviously since you are flying an aircraft down actually uh, sends your aircraft into the air and it causes it to climb and then up is going to cause your aircraft to come closer to the ground so as you can see the airport has just about loaded now so I'm going to go ahead and start increasing my speed if you look over at the left gauge uh, uh, on the left hand side you'll see that the numbers are slowly climbing as to how fast I'm going when I get to a certain speed I'll actually be ready to lift off into the air that's generally around 150 or so but yeah in just a second I'll be ready to go as you can see the graphics aren't too bad especially considering that this is Google Earth and okay I think I'm lifting off now and here we go I'm now actually in the air so you want to get a little bit of altitude right away so you don't crash your aircraft right off the bat uh, but you can you can actually see how high you are on the right hand side and you can you know see if you're gonna crash pretty close there are there are a way you, there is a way you can land your aircraft without crashing it and you know that does require some pretty intricate uh, precision controlling and I'm not gonna show you that in this video but you know just experiment with this This is actually a really cool flight simulator and you know I think that it's it's a lot of fun to mess around with um, so yeah I mean I think I think that this is probably my favorite feature in Google Earth to be honest and yeah, so I'm interested to get your feedback on this in the comments below. So let me know what you think of this flight simulator. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm sort of losing control of the aircraft here. But before I end off this video, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're excited about this flight simulator. And yeah, I guess that about wraps it up for this video. So, okay, before I go ahead and crash, I will see you next time.